tonight we are in our kitchen. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cook some food. We got a recipe from your mom. Mm -hmm. It's very, very good. Seems to be easy. Seems to be easy. We've never done it before. It was like a 50 character text, so. <laughs> so hopefully if this works out, you will also have a good recipe. Mm -hmm. Let's go check it out. You ready to make some food? You are? You want some food? He already has supper. You want some food? You ready to help us make food? You want to just be nasty? <laughs> we also have Chef Sniper here to help. In case you're wondering what we're making tonight, it involves chicken and Chick-fil-A sauce. We are going to make Chick-fil-A nuggets. A version. Look at all these cats in here wanting some Chick-fil-A. Yes. They're essentially like the fried chicken little nuggets at Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. They taste pretty close. Gluten-free. Gluten-free. So we will try it tonight. Involves a few ingredients, butter as well. So the instructions say, my mom's text instructions, say cut up chicken breast. Put it in melted butter, put it in panko, and then um, air fry at, I think, 400 for 10 minutes. Uh, seems pretty easy. So we'll see. And in case you're wondering, here is the panko, gluten-free. We've actually tried this one time, and it tastes pretty much like the regular panko. Mm -hmm. We've got the butter melting <laughs> currently. I just... There's no measurements, right? This isn't an exact recipe. So I just did a decent amount. And then if we need to add more, we'll add more. So I'm waiting. We're gonna add some green <sighs> tonight. We'd rather do a fresh salad, but lately, convenience is key. Got the melted butter. I did about, again, we don't do measurements here, about that much of a fairly thick thing of butter. And it made that much, so we'll just see how far that gets us. I guess the next step now is to cut up the chicken, huh? Yeah. All right, so we cut up the chicken into like little nugget looking pieces. Now we're gonna, I guess what, dip them in the butter? We've got the chicken in the butter, and honestly, that was a good amount of butter. So, and also our Caesar salad's almost done. I'm gonna pour the panko in a bowl. Keep going. Keep going. All right, we'll do that for now. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there. It's like Rice Krispies with sugar. It does. I'm gonna do some. Flowers. Yeah, I'm going rogue a little bit. This is not on the text recipe, but I just add a little bit there. As Bob Ross would say, it's your own little world. Free to do what you want. That's right. Okay, now we're going to put the chicken in there. All right, panko all stirred up. Just going to take it, dip it, make a mess. I guess probably have your tray ready. Tray ready. Probably keep it over the lid just because I don't want to make yeah. a mess on the counters. And then just keep going until you've got them all coated. We need to do like the cooking shows and we should have already had them done so we can say, and then um, you do that, the yeah, and then you pull like, it out of the oven and it's ready. Well, we'll just show you a couple. We won't show you the whole it's thing. It's good enough for us to do cooking this cooking thing. in general. All right, we are halfway done. We're gonna go ahead and load that one in there. Get the other one ready. All right, it says what, 10 minutes? Or 400. We'll check it at probably eight minutes. 400, go ahead and turn the light on. Things ready in there. See what happens. We're down to four minutes. Four minute warning. 
Looks like they're getting there. That was 10 minutes. Let's see if they are done. There's quite a bit of pieces in there, so. Golden brown. Some of them, I need to go a little bit longer. Yeah, what do you think? There's quite a bit of them in there. Yeah. Maybe rotate and some them. Some of them might be like thicker pieces too, so I'd rather it be a little over than Yeah, longer. just a little longer. I'd rotate them. I'd bring the bottom one up and. We did three more minutes at 400 degrees, just because it all depends on how many pieces you have in there. And we actually have quite a bit of pieces. Let's see what these look like. I think those look much better. More brown? More brown. What are we thinking? Maybe cut into one of the yeah, thicker ones and see. Yeah, we can put a th see. thermometer in it too. What about the top ones? I still feel like they almost need a little more. What about you? It might just be because they're not like, they don't have a ton of breading on them, like normal breading. So I think we're expecting it to look like those yeah but like that one doesn't have a lot of breading yeah. so well and it's gluten free chicken. i don't know if that messes yeah. up the color or whatnot let's put a thermometer in it and see some pieces were still a little under so i think what three more minutes at 400 yeah it's like the bigger pieces yeah too so should i flip them again yeah should it's too hard to do it <laughs> thing do they have have they invented oven mitts that are like gloves Oh, I mean, like with sure individual separate fingers, that'd be nice. Yeah. We just did it for three more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we have other ones in there. I know. I just oh. don't want to deal with it. Although this is just. That looks better. Those look good. Should be good now. So it was a total of 16 minutes at 400 degrees for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, essentially twenty-four. Here's what the finished product looks like. I will say it was pretty messy, but they look really good. We've got our Chick-fil-A sauce. Also, when we did our IKEA video, these are the forks we got from IKEA. And plates. And plates. That's right. So we're getting ready to give those a try. She's finishing up the salad. We'll see what we think. All right, let's give it a try. Good crunch, it sounded like. I feel like if you dip anything in Chick-fil-A sauce, it tastes good. That's true. Mm -hmm. Does it taste good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to try it. Here it is. It's crunchy a little bit. Yeah, that's good. The seasoning's good. Yeah. That was a good added touch. Um, I like it. It tastes really good. Mm -hmm. I give it a thumbs up. Do you give it a stinking good? It's. I mean, for something we've made at home, it's yeah. stinking good. Yeah. If it didn't have the Chick-fil-A sauce, I don't know. <laughs> Chick-fil-A sauce is good with anything, but I like it. Good work. Yep. All right. That was our little cooking at home gig we did tonight. Mm -hmm. We did it. Took 16 minutes. Well. A little longer. Probably 30 with prep and cats. Yeah. And... Oh, yeah. All that stuff. Um, I will say it's good, so go ahead and give it a try. See what you think. Obviously, Chick-fil-A is still going to be the best because it's Chick-fil-A, but for a option that's at home, mm -hmm. it was really good. Um, I will you say... You live near Chick-fil-A? True. That is true. Anything's good with Chick-fil-A sauce, though. Um, I will say, if you want to, comment a recipe below that you like. Probably not too complicated. It has to be one. as easy as yeah, this. Yes, not too complicated. And we can start... Looking at those and possibly making some. Um, that was really, that was a good one though. Thanks mom. Yes, thank you. That was, that was tasty. So hopefully this gives you, uh, this is an informational cooking video that you can go try to make. Without, and you have to see oh, more of the cats. That's true, very true. With that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.